This is uh, an XW97 sitting in a, a custom stocks, uh, stock fitted with a pull short stage 3 kit, uh, 10mm uh, short stroke. It is uh, a superb kit. It's beautifully engineered when you see Paul's work. It's always finished lovely. <clears throat> and the shoot really well. Uh, I've got to say that since I fitted this uh, kit into this gun, it's been simply a fit and forget uh, experience. It shoots just as well now as it did the day that I fitted it and it's had thousands of pellets through it. However, um, I'm going to fit one of his titanium pistons and, uh, and see how that compares. So, let's go titanium. So here we go, the gun is stripped. Um, that is a standard Weirauch piston. This is the uh, Paul Short Stage 3 kit. It's got, uh, as you can see, the, the Delrin bearing at the front, the Delrin bearing at the back. Um, and like I said, it was shooting just as well when I took it apart literally a few minutes ago as it was the day I assembled it. And this is the titanium body piston. Now titanium, expensive metal. Um, it's got your glide bearing at the front, it's got your glide bearing at the back, so no metal to metal contact. Um, beautifully engineered as ever. Um, the, it, it takes very, very close attention to detail. So the, the latch rod is perfectly central. Um, it fits the, uh, the PTFE sleeve. The ends of the, the uh, springs that he provides are always dressed. If you provide your, the gun to him, so he can make a uh, stainless steel um, rear spring guide that actually fits into the, uh, the back block, he'll do that as well. If you just do it by post, then he'll provide you with the Delrin uh, rear spring guide. Everything, the attention to detail, is just first class as ever. The rear end of the spring dressed and finished as it should be. Um, like I say, attention to detail, engineering is spot on. Titanium, light, strong, expensive, beautifully made. As you can see, it's all, all made by Paul. It's, you can see it's been wasted away there on the lathe. It's got the, you know, just the, the lovely things to look at. I thought it would be interesting to weigh all three pistons, just the pistons on their own, so we could see a comparison, we could see the weight saving that we're getting. Um, so I'll just zoom in on the old Weight Watcher scales. Okay. So. Scales are zeroed. And. Uh, let's put that down there. Let's zero it again. So. The standard. Weirauch piston is 268 grams. Let me see if we can if you can see that. So 268 grams. The Paul Short Stage 3 piston is 264 grams. So very similar but glided and with the very slightly longer latch rod. And lastly we have the titanium piston which comes in at 183 grams which is a saving of 80 grams. Let's see if we can do this in ounces. So that weighs in at six and a half ounces. The stage three weighs in at 9.3 ounces and the uh, standard one 9.5 ounces so a considerable weight saving on this um, titanium piston like I say again I've just got to stress this because I've got it in my hands and I'm looking at it it is beautifully engineered it's, it's uh, a lovely thing to look at so 
I'm now going to fit this in. We're going to lube it up, um, put the uh, parachute seal on the end, lube it up, and uh, reattach it to the gun. So there we go. There's your, there's your comparison weights. Quite interesting. Considerably lighter this uh, titanium piston. It's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be fast. Uh, that's what you normally get with a light piston. But with the full stroke, should develop the power. Interesting. Right. Let's stick it back together, lube it up, and uh, we'll give it a few shots. Just a, a quick note. <clears throat> Just a quick note so you can see um, the comp tube. This is uh, a comp tube again from Paul Short, as you can see. It's buttoned on the underside. It's uh, It's got a glide bearing at the back, the indelrin, it's all in, um, fitted inside a groove. Beautifully engineered thing. Everything fits together. Absolutely perfect. I've just got to uh, size that to seal a little bit. But there you go, that is your uh, your Paul Short kit with the uh, titanium piston ready to go. Uh, like I say, a little bit of sizing on that fit and then uh, reassembly time. <clears throat> okay, I've reassembled the gun. <clears throat> um, this is the first shot. Notes on reassembly. Uh, there's more preload, obviously, because it's a lighter piston. It's going to need that little bit of extra preload. I'd estimate it around 20 millimeters of preload. Um, so, I feel a cocking. Yep, that's a bit, a uh, little bit more cocking effort, but not bad. Not bad. I'm expecting this, if I'm honest, to be faster than it was before. Oof. And it is. It's very much more, very much faster. That is a, a nice shot cycle. Um, well, I'll say these are the absolute first shots, so no bedding in time or anything. Just uh, see what it's like. First impressions. Really fast cycle. Um, again, cocked it what two times, three times. Not noticing the cocking effort. Wow. Sight picture movement. Uh, next to nothing. Really very good. Now, I've got to say, <coughs> I really like the uh, Stage 3 kit, but it, this is better. This is better. It's faster. Um, it moves less. It is uh, definitely a step forward. And again, you get that, uh, that standard of engineering that... Uh, Paul always gives you, take the care. Yeah, that is a, a real improvement. Now, don't get me wrong, this, the, the, the Stage 3 kit was really good. This is better. This is better. That lightness in the piston, a little bit more preload, but God, it's quick. It's a really nice uh, shot cycle. Um, it's going to be interesting to compare it against some of the other guns. I think this. I mean, they're all good, but this is going to take, take a bit of beating. Um, like I said, I don't know what the power is yet, but uh, the impression you get, yeah, when you've shot a gun numerous times on the same range, you get an, a feel for what it's producing. And, uh, I mean, it feels like it's producing good power. Um, I'll, I'll try it again tomorrow. I'll stick a few a couple of hundred pellets through it and uh, give it a good test give it a chance to bed in and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk about the, uh, the power it's producing but that is a really really nice improvement on the, on the gun 
and I didn't think that uh, that it would be easy to improve on that stage three kit with this titanium piston. Um, a beautifully made thing, giving a really fast action. Uh, it's not fast as in uh, crazy aggressive fast, but it's a lot quicker, uh, way quicker than a normal uh, HWU 97. A little bit more preload than a normal 97, but the, the payback is is that lack of movement. I don't know what you can see on the video, um, but uh, we'll try and do a close up of the. Uh, of the muzzle uh, on shooting. But it feels really good. That is first class, absolutely spot on, very, very pleased. Sight picture movement for me, there yeah, was spot on. Really very good. That is a vast improvement. It's really good. Very impressed with that. First impressions, very, very good. Uh, like I say, I need to do a bit more time with it, let it settle in, let it bed in, let it just you know, make sure everything's running as it should, but that is uh, an improvement over the Stage 3 tune, which is spot on, so that's your Paul Short Titanium Piston. Excellent stuff.